Hey everyone, welcome to Living My Life. So today we're setting up Arctic Oven Tents and testing, testing the Arctic Oven Tents from Alaska Tent and Tarp. We have the stove going as you can see, and that's a beautiful sight when it is below zero outside on a beautiful and sunny January day in central Alaska. Come on inside, let's check it out. It's currently about 10 degrees, negative 10 degrees, excuse me, negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And it's about five, negative five inside. We've got the stove going. You can see the fire inside. Up through the chimney. We'll open it up. Well, we haven't put much wood in there at all. Just a little bit. And what we are doing is testing how long it takes to go from negative 10 to something more comfortable for sleeping. Let's say between 50 and 60 degrees. My bet it will not take long. So we're going, we're going to seal this up with the zippers. As you can see, this tent is, has been highly used. This is my favorite tent for moose in bear season. And now winter season. It's very durable. It's kept me dry and warm through many very uncomfortable rain and snowstorms. Alaska Tent and Tarp, based in Anchorage, Fairbanks. It's a spark arrestor inside that stove pipe keeps the sparks from flying out, burning the tent. The Arctic Oven tent comes with the rain fly, and then the inner tent, this material is, is a flame, re, not flame, re, flame resistant material. It also, also helps the tent breathe, so I don't have any condensation in here when it's really wet and hum, humid outside, like during spring bear season or fall moose season. And this rain fly keeps most of the rain out on most occasions. The floor is not waterproof, it is water resistant. If water pools under the floor, sure some will come in, but it's manageable and it's logical. I'm about six feet tall. And as you can see, this tent allows me to stand up with plenty of headroom and to stretch out. I'd estimate it's about eight to 10 feet across. Alaska Tent and Tarp, a wonderful machine, wonderful tent, wonderful piece of gear for Alaska. We'll check back with you soon. What's the difference between this tent and that tent? Well, the difference is the vestibule, this. This is a fairly new tent we recently purchased. And as you can see, it has more space inside here. Otherwise, they are the same. Beautiful, sunny, gorgeous January day in central Alaska. And we are testing the Arctic oven tent. We currently have the stove going. It's negative 10 degrees outside. We're gonna seal this thing up and see how long it takes to get something much warmer. I can already feel the heat inside here. As you can see, we have the wood stove going. It's quite dirty in here because it's, we've just come out of hunting season, moose and bear. It's already zero in here. It was negative 10 just five minutes ago, but I've not yet cleaned this tent. I've had it for many years and it's kept me warm and dry through many rough nights and bad storms. So, We'll check back in a few minutes and see how long it takes to get from negative 10 to near 60. We started at negative 10 about 15 minutes ago. So let's see where we are.
Oh, when I open this door, I can feel the heat right here. It is currently 40 degrees in there and the stove is doing its job very well. It feels higher than 40. Remember that thermometer is up against that tent wall. I have a hunch it's more like 70 right next to that stove in 15 minutes. We'll come back and check. Give it another 15 minutes. I'll let you know what I find. It started less than 30 minutes ago at negative 10 outside. We set a fire inside the wood stove. Let's see how we're doing. I can certainly feel the heat coming up right here. Ladies and gentlemen, in less than 30 minutes, we went from negative 10 to 60 degrees inside this Arctic oven tent made by Alaska Tent and Tarp out of Anchorage, Alaska. Have a look. Let's have a look inside. As you can see, not much of a fire in there at all. It does not take much, folks, to get very warm in here very quickly. This is an extremely cozy way to spend the night in Alaska. I'm extremely pleased with this tent. I've owned this one for many years. And as you can see, it's quite dirty. Recently lent it to a friend. I loaned it to a friend to take on a deer hunting adventure in Kodiak, Alaska, and he sent it back to me in this condition. <laughs> That's okay. A little bit dirty. This is how we do things. We use them. This is what it was meant for. This, this material is flame resistant and it helps the tent breathe. So I almost never get any condensation, any water inside these walls. The exterior tent rainfly takes care of that. Thank you for watching.
like that, negative 40 to approximately 30 degrees at the moment. We're going to keep going, see how we do. As you can see, I have two sleeping bags put together. Both of them are zero degree sleeping bags, one made by Kifaru, K-I-F-A-R-U, the other one made by Mountain of Hardware. And I've stuffed one in the other, which should give me some uh, better comfort rating. The wood stove is buffing away. And we're warming up quickly. I'll let you know how it goes. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos because we have so much more to share with you as we show you what it means when we say we are living my Alaska. See you next time.